Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are going to be talking about a cool new smoothie that was added to the game and also the update of another smoothie um, that is very helpful for you. Now I've gone out and I have harvested all of the items that you are going to need for these smoothies but before I jump in I want to go ahead and say thank you to the Mike Lowry Show uh, for giving me the uh, updated recipe and also the new recipe for the brand new smoothie that was added in 4.0 so thank you if you guys want to check out his his channel description down below there will be a link to his channel but before we um, move on I want to tell you guys before we go into it you guys are gonna need to grind out a couple materials you guys are gonna need some water flea meat you guys are gonna need some eelgrass strands some water boatman fins some lily pad wax um, and uh, some spoiled tadpole meat no you don't need spoiled tadpole meat you just need tadpole meat and I don't have any right now so we are gonna hop in and we are gonna get us some tadpole meat now tadpoles are the easiest thing in the game to kill um, in the water you just need your little bone spear here and you just so have to find one now they like to hover about right around this uh, pagoda over here or lantern as some people like to call it as well uh, you just swim up to them poke them once and they die uh, the cool thing though is if you're using coup de gra uh, grass you can also uh, one if not two shot the water boatman or two if not three I'm sorry two to three shot water boatman oh my god they're shaking in fear that's terrible here let me save you I will save you from the evil spider Oh god, I forgot I'm not wearing my bubble helm, so this is, uh, this might kill me. Ow! Swim away! There you go, you guys have nothing to fear anymore. Okay, so, now that we've got us some beautiful tadpole meat, uh, right here. It's weird that this is not, uh, doesn't say tadpole meat, but this does. I don't get it, but hey, screw it, right? All right, another thing I want to say before we get over to smoothies as well is there's a bug in the game right now if you guys are playing the test server. Do not jump, hit your head on the lily pad and fall back into the water. If you do, you will literally fall to the bottom of the water and die. So I don't get it. It's a bug. Just try to avoid that for right now. Okay. Someone passed my beautiful base that we've been working on. Hello. Hello. And let's get back up to the smoothie machine. Now, as far as I know, this is the only... There's only one smoothie that was altered, and there is only one smoothie that was added um, to the actual new 4.0 release. So, we're going to go to smoothie making. Now, if you guys want to make the wonderful Liquid Gills smoothie, now what this will do is this smoothie will add uh, 20 seconds onto your current breathing time. Now, if you have the breathing helmet, you may say, well, Sin, that's not really needed, especially if you have the breathing helmet. You're right, you don't need it if you have the breathing helmet. But... If you want to, um, say, get this stuff before you go and start going underwater and stuff like that, uh, eelgrass water fleas, which you can get from the, the swamp, not from inside the pond, and then uh, tadpoles are the easiest things in the game to kill. And you guys can just keep swallowing them until you guys get tons of uh, tons of time in the water now it does that 20 seconds and the effect lasts for 20 seconds i believe so as soon as it's used up it's gone so you have to make a couple of them but with how easy it is for you to make i would suggest you guys just keep three or four of these on you also it adds oxygen to you if you're already underwater as well so if you're underwater you get stuck bam have one of these boom no more problem you now have 20 more seconds to get whatever you need to do in order to get more oxygen so i'm gonna go ahead and make one of those and show you guys what i'm talking about here go ahead and jump on in and you you guys will see that I have 45 seconds. Drink that. And it consumed the five seconds I used, and now I was at 55. So yeah, awesome. Now it's at 56, and it kind of fluctuates, so that's why I said just keep a couple of them on you, use them as you can, and um, and get as much use out of these new smoothies as you can because they do help. All right, so for this next demonstration for this smoothie, you guys will notice I do not have any leg armor on. That is because I believe the next smoothie is called the Fin Flop Smoothie. I want to say that, that that's what it's called. Maybe it's, uh, what the heck is it called? Fluid Flippers, that's what it's called. I don't know why I always want to call things Fin Flops. I don't get it. Uh, I've called it that like six or seven different things now. But the Fluid Flipper Smoothie, what this one does is um, it uses a water boatman fin, a eelgrass strand, 
and liquid uh, or lily pad wax, liquid wax, lily pad wax there. So make one make that guy up. It's a light blue in color. Okay. And what this one does is it makes it so you swim faster underwater. Now, sadly, I did a test. It does not compound with your actual flippers. So drinking this smoothie while you have your flippers on does not make much sense. And do I think that this smoothie is really needed? Not really, because making the flippers is easy enough. Um, uh, cause making flippers is literally, um, just two or four water boatman fins, two strands of eel wax and two, um, lily pad wax. So really it's not that hard in retrospect to be using your water fins, like literally the same ingredients in order to make a smoothie instead. It doesn't really make sense to me, but you'll see here, we'll jump in the water and we'll start swimming and you'll see we swim pretty quick and then we'll hit this smoothie. And now we're swimming faster as though we had flippers on, which is great. It's good because it's always good to swim a little bit faster. A little squishy now. But when you put on your flippers at the end of the day, you will always be a little bit faster than even what the um, uh, liquid flippers or whatever I said uh, did for you. What's up, Mr. Koi Fish? What's up, Mr. Koi Fish? Now, this is also another thing I want to debug for you guys because a lot of you guys do not know. A lot of you guys have asked and haven't uh, seen it. Um, and I want to say, yes, the Koi Fish can attack you. And yes, he can kill you. Um, it is very possible for that to happen. I'm going to have to debug him um, because he's stuck currently in the... Uh, the bre the roots there so i debugged him he should be right around here somewhere there he is right there okay so i am going to sit here and wait for him to attack me now it does take some time because he's a little bugged at the moment and he just kind of swims in circles around you or in front of you for a little bit but if you stay in front of him long enough he will actually attack you or her i'm not sure if it's a he or her you can't tell no privats all right come here I'm looking at you, ugly. Stop swimming away from me. I'm looking at you. You're so fast. Why are you so fast? Why are you so fast? Back over here. All right, so now I just need to sit here and wait. And sooner or later, he's going to spin around like three or four times. I'm just going to use my odd admin commands to make sure I don't die um, underwater from lack of breath. So that way you guys can see it. Now, it's a little janky how he does this. He just kind of swims and swims and swims. But what you'll end up seeing is he will finally do an attack where he like headbutts you or he tries to grab you with his mouth. There you go. Boom! Dead. And like I said, the koi fish does actually attack you. The koi fish will try to kill you if you are near him long enough. And thankfully, with your backpack floating back to the surface, it's next to nothing for you to swim back over and grab your backpack, especially assuming how he will not attack you repeatedly like that. It takes time, so just swimming back over to grab your backpack is no big deal. You grab uh, it, equip all safe? your stuff back on, and off you go safe back on your merry way. But remember, you can poke him to get him to drop um, some of his scales. It's not easy, but you can poke him to get him to drop his scales. Um, but they just end up on the ground. You don't actually see them fall. Um, so you got to swim down to wherever you were poking him at and see if you can find the scales. He does not drop them every time you poke him with your spear or cut him with your knife, just so you know. Um, but it is a random occurrence that it will happen. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe today, and turn that bell notification to all. If you guys would like to see anything else that pertains to the 4.0 test server update, please let me know down in the comments. I would love, love, love to keep on making videos for you guys on all the different things. I'll be going over Koi Armor in the next video on how to get it and what it takes to make and all of the bonuses that come with it. So I hope to see you guys in that video. Make sure you guys leave me a heart down below, and I will make sure I heart you your guys comment if you made it all the way to the end now and as always i will see all of you guys in the next one